Good afternoon and welcome to the channel The Vaping Piper. Today's blend um, is a blend that I was looking forward to try because this blend is actually based on a very delicious cigar that I enjoy very much. I reviewed this one, this cigar, a while ago, Toscano Rosso. Uh, this is a delicious Italian um, based con fired, a dark fired Kentucky leaf from Italy and from the US with delici delicious notes of chocolate, coffee and a bit of vanilla. Um, these gorgeous uh, tiny cigars, perfect for morning coffee, um, very popular in this office. As soon as I get a box, it is <laughs> nearly finished in the day I was. Yeah, so I've got quite a lot of stock of this. Um, well, um, when I heard that um, this brand, Toscano, have come up with a collaboration with Cornell and Deal and created a tobacco, pipe tobacco blend um, based on the famous Toscano cigars, uh, I straight away I ordered myself. Well, I arranged it to be ordered for me from the US. Uh, and this is no other, uh, the Mastro Allegro, uh, Toscano Allegro, actually. Yeah, and this is from the Mastro series, as you can see, Mastro Allegro. And um, dark fire cured Kentucky leaf, Kentucky fire cured, and it's collaboration with Colin and Deal. So yeah, I was super excited to taste this blend and I was meaning to review this uh, quite a while ago and every time it was pushed over. Um, the last one, I think if everything is according to schedule, uh, the last review was this one here, the other side of the spectrum. Um, a lovely, delicious, but heavily aromatic Sutliff Molto Dulles. I managed to take off the label from that tin and put it on my um, jar, 8 ounce jar. Well, this is a heavy aromatic that um, the smell alone will give it away. This one here, I opened it already. Um, it's an English blend. Let me uh, give you some information on it. So, um, I'll bring it on the screen so you can read it yourself as well. And I'll put it below. So it's, um, it's talking about um, made in Italy, the, the cigars made in Italy from fermented American and Italian dark fired Kentucky tobaccos. Toscana cigars are referred to as dry cigars. And they've got a distinct and robust flavor that is favored by countless cigar smokers, including myself. But I'm not sure if it's talking about the Rosso, because they've got a few types of this. I love the, the, the Rosso one, uh, which is aromatic. So now pipe smokers can enjoy the, the famous boldness um, of Toscano cigars as well. In collaboration with Colin and Deal, um, they present the Mastro series, a series of pipe tobaccos. So let's go, let's skip all this and we'll go to straight to the profile. So Toscano Mastro Allegro is a ribbon cut English blend that consists of dark fired leaf sourced from Kentucky and Tennessee. Stoved and unstoved Red Virginias, a hint of smoky Latakia. Allegro showcases Toscano's uh, signature bold and spicy flavor alongside subtle notes of vanilla, caramel, and maple. So the components is Virginia Latakia, dark fired Kentucky, family is English, cut ribbon. So I already taken out some of um, this tin. Uh, very nice texture of leaf. Yeah, the fire cured Kentucky with the Virginia and the Latakia. Really nice texture of leaf. Moist level is perfect, perfect. Uh, I just opened it um, an hour ago. Now the smell, 
is musty, woody smokiness to it. Some spice. Yeah. I can't smell um, any notes of vanilla, caramel, or maple. I can't smell it. To me, it comes across as a pure English. Well, Kentucky, fire, dark fired Kentucky, Latakia, and Virginia. It's that smell of the leaf is coming across. I can't smell any other toppings. A bit bready, grassy here as well, but mainly that musty, fairly strong, woody, um, smoky, spicy. So let's give it a go. So I've got here my Peterson um, Irish Harp 606. Uh, beautiful pot, straight. Really nice, rusticated, sand, sandblasted, yeah, beautiful pipe that I reviewed in the past, and it smokes beautifully. And I, I do smoke in here um, English. So uh, let's pack the pipe and see what's all about. To be honest, I when I smelt the tin. Uh, I was hoping for a bit of aromatics to it, a bit of vanilla, a bit of, as they claim it to be, subtle notes of vanilla, caramel, and maple. When you smell the cigars, you really, it hits you, the smell. So much so that I need to keep these boxes in airtight containers because the smell makes one of my secretaries gives a headaches for some reason. But the taste is divine of those cigars. Um, but the smell of this one is pure English. So we'll see if I can taste any flavoring in here. Right, let's give this a go. This is the Zippo Butin um, pipe insert. Very good. A lighter. Mm. Woody, smoky, mild but woody smokiness. Uh, no toppings. We'll see in a minute. Uh, on the on the tin itself, it says here, integrating the richness of American finest dark fired Kentucky tobacco with the sweetness of Red Virginia and a woodsy whisper of Latakia. Allegro offers an aromatic intensity, perfectly balancing roasted and spicy notes, alongside delicious aromas of vanilla, caramel, and maple. So. Yeah. <laughs> really nice woody smokiness. Quite robust. Some tanginess, a sweet note from the Virginias with like sort of a touch of like red fruit, plum type of floralness to it. What comes across most is that spicy wood smokiness from the Kentucky. That's giving me that very woody. bit of a slightly, nearly sour note, in a nice way. Earthy, the floral. Then you get the spiciness of the Latakia with that fairly mild smokiness. 
um, wood smokiness rather than campfire smokiness like full on this is more like a wood like a oak you take a oak you burn it uh, in your fireplace and you smell you get that woody smoky note that that type of uh, aroma really like a musty smoky woody but naughty but I'm not tasting any vanilla or any caramel maybe a slight maple maybe if I'm interpreting it right but very easily I can interpret it as some earthy floralness that the Kentucky might bring along that floralness as well so hmm it's going in line with the smell of the tin as well you get in the tin so this tin smell is like spicy Like a bit like a woody smoky note bit of grassy hay maybe mainly like a spicy note but not so much uh, any other vanilla or caramel or maple so this is a pure English blend to me I'm happy about that but I'm a bit disappointed because I thought this would be a cigar uh, a sort of based on some most probably it's on the Toscano not Rosso something else there is no aromatics to it at all just a fairly bold dire, um, dark fire cured Kentucky leaf um, without the added flavoring of the Rosso probably that's what it is how different the, these two blends are you know that is the beauty of pipe tobacco um, these two are so different this is so heavily aromatic which is very delicious and this is sort of fairly robust English uh, but I love them both every time in a different time you know this after dinner as a dessert as I categorize this tobacco and this with the morning coffee I can't think of many or good other blends as suited for that moment yeah of course there is a quite a few good English blends that I enjoy talk about the family of the tobacco the English family the blend itself and each blend from each uh, tobacco is varies in the fine nuances of the leaf but this is perfect for a morning coffee and some smoke English all day all day long of course I like my Virginia's pure Virginia's vapors during the day burly and aromatics in the evening yeah so this is a very much a morning blend for me but um, yeah I'll, if well I assume I'm the only one who thought that this is sort of based on this Rosso cigar it's based most probably on the Toscano cigar rather than the Rosso in particular so when I opened the tin I smelled it I said well I can't taste much aromatics here and he, the smoke is not aromatic at all uh, all that did this uh, subtle notes of vanilla caramel and maple I don't know I seem to I don't think I'm tasting them maybe a touch of maple but I might mistake it for the floralness of the dark fired Kentucky what crumb comes across is the woodsy smoky uh, rusty 
a musty, rather musty smokiness to it. With a touch of a floral note that I'm not sure if it's coming from the Virginia or from the Kentucky. With ever so slight sweet note, but really slight. Just, I think the Virginia here is just a mild, mellow a bit, the Kentucky and the Latakia. I think the, the driving force here is the dark fired Kentucky. Um, and the Latakia gives it a bit of a spicy, smoky note um, that goes very well with the woody, oaky Kentucky. A dark fire as well. You get that roasted, roasty note. And the Virginia is just there to mellow it a bit. That's it. Yeah. Very nice. I will definitely enjoy this in the mornings with a coffee. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't categorize this by no stretch of imagination as an aromatic. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll carry on smoking this um, a bit later on. I still got a quarter of a bowl to go. So, I would love to hear your take on this uh, blend, if you actually smoke this, um, the Mastro Allegro um, from the Toscano. Toscano Allegro, that's the full name of it, I think. Yeah, Toscano Allegro. I would love to hear your feedback on it. What did you, do you taste any, um, what they claim to be, vanilla, caramel or maple? I don't so yeah interesting that anyway so um, love to hear your feedback on it um, I've got one for long storage this I'll put in a jar so I'll age over time as well and we'll see how it comes across after it's been aged for a while because this is fairly new if you look at the date the 19th of the 10th 23 uh, yeah, so it needs a bit of aging on it, but this will age beautifully. So, if you're looking for a fairly bold English blend based on dark fired Kentucky leaf, which is delicious, it's got that oaky, woody notes to it with a bit of floralness, um, look no further than this blend here. Really nice. Yeah, I also heard that uh, Cornell and Deal are coming out with a blend called Sens uh, Polcoro. Polcoro, if I've spelled it correct. I'll put it on the screen, like this, you can see it uh, yourself. Uh, Sens Polcoro. Sens Polcoro. Uh, Sens Procro, I'm not sure how to spell it. That is also, um, apparently, is... Um, fire cured Kentucky blend um, and it's got Virginia dark fire cured Kentucky and black Cavendish so I'm hoping that it would give me a bit more of the sweet note maybe a bit of a you know the brown sugar from the black Cavendish maybe it'll be a bit of a sweeter uh, blend uh, because this is hardly any sweetness in it. I do like a bit of sweetness in my blends. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm hoping to get a hold of it. Too. If, when I receive it, it is another matter. It could be months from now. Who knows? But when I receive it, I'll update it. I will be old blend by then. What can I do? This is the problem when you're based in the UK and you're trying to get US blends. Right, so this was the video of today. Um, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye for now.